Okay, so I'm calling my part of the the of the discussion a, a developer's perspective. So it's coming from from our perspective, our perspective as developers of simple edit interface for the University of Tasmania. But probably going a little bit beyond that, um, I firstly uh, frame my talk with a little bit of a background from from me personally and and why this this actual subject is is so important to me. Um, I was involved in the implementation of a system within a local government uh, here locally, which was a property and rating system, a big departure from CMS. But um, as a result of the implementation of that system and the massive change in the interface that, uh, that it brought along, um, and obviously we're sort of delving into, pro uh, into change management now, I saw an organisation literally, literally flip out um, because of uh, user interface design. Um, the system could do everything that it needed to do to keep the, the wheels of the local government rolling, but uh, it challenged the people uh, that had to interact with it on a daily basis. Uh, so it's something that I've always uh, been mindful of. Um, when I started working uh, with MySource Matrix, uh, you know, we were quickly introduced to the idea of a simple edit interface, and I'm sure that all of you ha have, um, to some degree, explored the opportunity that 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 poses within your organisation as you're implementing my source matrix. Um, we've been involved as a as a region uh, in implementing simple edit interfaces in a number of our clients' uh, infrastructures, and um, as a result of that, uh, we've had a lot of thought. We've we've had a lot of discussion with regards to you know what sort of considerations we need to take into account. And this presentation is really a uh, a summary of our thoughts thus far, and also um, segueing into a, a very quick discussion of some of the new features of MySource Matrix, which really do um, uh, offer a uh, a new way of thinking about uh, developing interfaces for MySource Matrix. Okay, so I'm going to split my talk up. I'm going to be, have to be very quick too, but I'm splitting my talk, my, uh, talk up into three uh, broad sections. Firstly, uh, what lessons have we learned from developing simple edit interfaces as, as an organisation? What are the general considerations uh, as a result of those lessons that you need to take into account when you are developing a simple edit interface? And what new tools uh, MySource Matrix offer as, as, as far as uh, simple edit, for in, uh, simple edit interface developers? Okay, who, when, and how. Um, basically, uh, looking at who is actually using a simple edit inter interface, we've, we've, I've drawn uh, a number of, uh, uh, I guess, generalizations. Uh, the first is the frequency with which a user interacts with uh, simple edit interfaces is comparatively low uh, uh, to the users of an admin interface. The users are often time poor, and their web uh, publication roles are done off the side of their disk their desk, and I think this was something that was actually alluded to in a, in a couple of discussions uh, or presentations uh, yesterday. The training for the users of a sim uh, for users of a simple edit interface uh, receive typically within an organisation far less uh, than the training received by the MySource Matrix uh, admin interface users, and the change management around uh, simple edit interface and its introduction to an organisation and to the um, devolved publishers is typically less comprehensive than for a team uh, th for the team that's becoming the application owner. Uh, so there's a, there's a couple of alerts there. The, well, there's one alert there. And the alert is that the interface developers and designers need to work very hard to develop a service that will de del deliver business value to our simple edit interface users. They have to work very hard because of the audience that they're working to. Uh, SCE standards, uh, Standard Computing Environment, SCE, for those of you that are not familiar with that. Um, they need to be taken into account when you're developing your simple edit interface. Don't ignore the environment within which you're working and within which the users are working. It gives you great cues as to how to develop something that's actually going to speak to their needs and deliver value for them. Um, they are... Uh, the, user, the users of the simple edit interface are often familiar with quasi-standards in software interface design, looking uh, at things like the Microsoft Office Suite. Uh, very often, our simple edit interface users are advanced users of Office uh, applications. They are familiar with the, the terminology in those applications. They're familiar with the icons used in those applications. They're also very familiar with browser functionality, and that's an important point to consider. So when, when we've been talking to... Um, 
to organisations about developing their simple interface. Uh, a question that I find myself now asking is, okay, for your devolved publishers, what type of applications are they using? What are they familiar with? They're familiar with Word, they're familiar with Excel. Okay, we're starting to get a bit of an idea of how we can lower the barriers to entry with regards to our simple edit interface. So alert two, users already have a user interface uh, vocabulary that they are, they are familiar with and that can be used to reduce barriers to uptake. Application within an application. Uh, users are aware of the fact that when we're delivering a simple edit interface, we're delivering it within a browser and that browser needs to continue to operate as you would expect. So um, there are, it's a bit of a double-edged sword uh, uh, delivering an application within a, within a browser. Um, in that one, it allows for rapid deployment, allows for rapid development, but you're also having to take into account how that wrapper application is going to interact with the application that you're building inside it. So always keeping that in mind and always considering the fact that the users of your application, the simple edit interface in this case, are also familiar with the wrapper application, the browser, and it needs to behave in a standard way. So SEI users are browser aware. Use cases must take this into account. So when you're developing use cases around your simple edit interface, you need to consider that fact. Functionality. The demand for functionality in a simple edit interface has uh, been on an uh, I guess almost exponential increase. Um, we have we started with people just editing pages in Matrix uh, five years ago. Now we have interfaces that allow people to create assets of various types to interact with workflow, the ability to edit metadata, the ability to create schemas, the ability to tag content. All of these are um, functions that are demanded by a simple edit interface. So it's not so simple anymore in terms of its feature uh, is feature set. It needs to be comprehensive. Always address the utility required by clients and it's probably broader than you first thought. Oh, and it has to be easy to use at all times. So on the one hand we need ease and on the other we need comprehensive, comprehensiveness of functionality. So essentially uh, users are often infrequent uh, SEI users are often infrequent users of a WCMS with limited skills and privileges. The time they have, uh, the users have to interpret the web, uh, web CMS interface and do their work is low. The users have a good understanding of their standard computing environment. And the browser that wraps the simple edit interface is, is understood and needs to operate as expected. We've got a challenge, essentially, uh, to deliver a simple edit interface. Okay, so what are the key considerations? And I have borrowed heavily here from the 10 usability heuristics uh, developed by Jacob Nielsen. Um, I've always found them to be an excellent starting point when considering the general things that we need to bear in mind when we're going about developing a simple uh, edit interface. Firstly, visibility of system status. The system should always provide feedback to the users on where they're at and what they're doing. Uh, simple things like numbering and tab index for interface elements should be aligned and easy to understand, particularly when elements need to be filled in a particular order or are required to complete a process. Use of feedback elements to reinforce correct use of interface elements as early as possible. So we need to put the user at the centre of this experience, very much so. They need to know how they're going, whether they're doing what they're supposed to be doing in the right order so that uh, the, the system's going to basically achieve the goals that they need to achieve um, in a time-poor environment. These considerations hand back control to the user and they bring clarity to a process that, it, that is only interacted with occasionally. So it might be something that they only ever come across a couple, couple of times a week. That's, that's pretty good. Maybe once a month they're asked by their manager to update a web page. Um, so they need to be able to come back to this interface and be familiar with it instantly. They don't want to have to pick up the manual and have to interpret or everything again. Match between systems and the real world. The system should speak the user's language with words, phrases and familiar concepts to the user rather than the system oriented, rather than system -oriented terms. Follow real world conventions making information appear as natural and logical uh, in a natural and logical order. Take into account other applications. So. Uh, our ob observations before with regards to the standard computing environment. We need to consider the environment these people are working in. These people are smart but they don't have time and they don't really want to learn, learn another application and they often aren't given the opportunity to train comprehensively in that application. But they're required to do it 
to get their job done. And that's the